Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today as uh, we go into this door that takes us to a place. I, I don't know where it takes us. Hmm. Oh. Hi. We got company, boys. Says uh, an higher iron head psychic. Well, I'm in the warehouse block beta, but I think I'm in a different map here, so uh, it's not in a place that I've been to already. Let's try and do this, because he said boys. No, I don't see any boys. Okay, let's set you on fire then. Off to a good start. Okay, that's less of a good start. Although he doesn't like being there, apparently. He fled. Let's see if he has some nice equipment. Indeed, he does. So I'll take that and take all of these. Thank you very much. And that one sucks. So, electrokinetic mingabajinging. We got war warthogs and pigs. Sounds good to me. I'll just hang out. I suppose I'll just hang out. Hmm. Interesting. I think they triggered the alarm because this thing went red. And uh, that Smasher is going to... Smasher? Sure. Smasher is going to die. That's pretty good. Let's do another one of these. Or rather, the first one of those in this episode. And then we do that. And that's good enough. Okay. We have ourselves a bacon and cheese sandwich. Actually, those are pretty good. Both of those and the mine room over here. Do the Warthogs not like me? I I'm gonna say they're not gonna like me, so I'm not really gonna bother with them. Ow. I take the da Yeah, the alarm is out. I take the damage. Hmm. That's a bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. I don't like that all that much. Health hypo. For the face. For the face? To the face. To, to wherever, really. Okay. Uh, so I don't want to open that. I don't think I need the war the Warthog pig Warthog pigs the pig stuff But then again, I don't know if that's the case. So let's just um, play it safe and Send a fireball in there. Oh, I can send a fireball in there because of the line of sight. I can't do this though That's pretty good. Can I do this? I cannot Okay, there's a grenadier outside the Warthogs are really mad at me. So let's try doing a couple of things here that probably will be really good. I don't hear any f fire. So that's going to be that. I should have saved, by the way. That's a demolisher, so I really should not be over there. Oh, they died. <laughs> that's what you get, you jerk. Okay. Hello. Yes, you also get this. So it's just these guys all have grenades. It's the demolisher, a bomber, and a uh, grenadier. It's awful. Awful stuff. Okay. And there's a gunner. Gunners I can deal with. I am good with gunners. I can. I like that. Okay, you're dead. I'm gonna do this to. I am not gonna do this to you. I'm gonna step aside. And uh, not that we have super amount. Oh, hi. Super amounts of. Um, hi. I didn't know. <laughs> uh, of um, what's the what's the word? The the one. Oh, that goes through. That's lovely. Oh, this guy's not immune to my ways. Aw. That's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Wait, what am I missing here? I have action points. Uh, I, I should be okay. It's a gunner, so... How dangerous can they really be? There we go. They barely do any damage. So, let's go ahead and do that. And that's gonna be that. Another burst for zero. And no knee shots this time. I got a psionic over there. I don't like it that much. Please... Uh, well, I'll figure you out in a little bit. Let me just kill this guy. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Temporal manipulation, disruptive field. That's not what I wanted, actually. I wanted this one. Uh, but I can I can deal I can deal with this in very many good ways. 
like putting that over there and they're dumb they're just gonna step over it like dumb I told you <laughs> let's kill you and look at that without using any of the side little syringes good stuff I also got to unload the weapon that I picked up before but we're gonna take care of that in a little bit Ooh, look at that a cardboard container I don't need those I don't know how to make those bombs. It doesn't matter. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Hmm. Some good things. Some good things. And now, we're gonna need to open that. Oh, dang it. These bullets are terrible! Okay, good. So do I have enough of these? Ah, sure. I mean, not really. I'll buy more. That's basically what I've been doing. That's all I... That's what the money is for. Just to buy things. Oh, by the way, did I speed this up? I did not. I'm so sorry. Not that it mattered so far. I think it only changes the... Um, the movement speed. But maybe it changes... Oh! Enormous Tusk! Yes! Yes, I needed to kill those! See? it's It, it wasn't just pure, simple animal cruelty. It was also the... The leveling up. Cruelty. That's right. I can, I do my things. Ooh, hammer over there. Okay, grenadier over here. What do you have? Broadhead bolt tip. Nope. You can keep those because those suck. All Mark II grenades seem to be pretty good to keep at this moment, at this juncture. Uh, most of the ammo is mostly junk. And there's a demolisher over here. Please don't look at me. I think I saw somebody else. I'm not really sure. Okay, those are two Mark two and Mark threes. That's just grenades for days that we have over here. It's good, good, good stuff. So I don't need any of this, and uh, we're just gonna leave it there. And I think we're gonna save as well. I, I didn't forget. M maybe I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, considering that I didn't save five times by now in this episode. But you know, I'm I'm not feeling myself today. Nah, I just that I'm that I feel comfortable with the build and also with killing these iron heads I've done I've done enough for them or against them I should say some good things in here nothing that's gonna be game-changing a mechanical repair kit Ooh. foundry plans old partially burned foundry plans unfortunately you cannot make out the date they were drawn uh, but I can make out the one experience point that I gained from them please give me all the points and also two lock picks and a stake Hopper meat. Oh, protector of propaganda that I don't need. Syringes, you can keep them. I can buy more at any moment. EMP grenade is good. And we have some boxes back here. But nobody. Nobody. Oh, I had these over here. And I went and looked at my inventory like a chump. What do we have? Good stuff is what do we have. What about this one? This one has unsaturated sonic catalyst. This is what you need. I'll take it. Uh, that is what you need to make the uh, the side boosters. Okay, so this place that I left marked as nothing leads to places. So I'm just going to mark it as not nothing. Nothing? Sure. Passages. Sure. Let's go with plural there. Mm. Plural is nasty. I, I don't like doing that because the... Uh, how do I know if it's... Let's just leave it passage for the moment. We'll We'll figure it out. Right, so that's what the alarm is. Cool the tail. Cool the tail indeed. I'm not really sure if the AI actually reacted to it, because they were really slow to come and get, get me. In fact, they never did get me. The only damage I took was because I was a dummy. Uh, let's see, supercharge lithium bat battery cells. Absolutely, please. In real life, please don't supercharge your lithium battery or lithium ions, because they will blow up. It's kind of a complicated thing. Well, it's not really complicated. They will blow up or burn. So that's how you kill a battery like that. So this accesses this area. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what was going on in my mind that I didn't mark this. I don't know. Anyway, lockpicking 45. We got lockpicking 45. Do we need lockpicking 45? Possibly not, because that probably is open. Refrigerator. And what do you know? Of course it is. Okay, let's go back here. 
Keep an eye out for all the secret passages that don't might not show up. They are not, are not showing up either. Okay. And we can just keep going. Now, that leads to a place. So let's go to that place. No, I think it, I know where it leads to. Let's just save before the game saves anyway. So it's just completely wasted. Let's do this. I don't know how they did. The alarm probably disables on a timer. Oh, hi. Oh. Ow. I'm dead, and I... Oh, yeah. Super dead. Super dead. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, I didn't... I said I didn't need to save. I absolutely needed to save. Otherwise, I would have to reload from when I entered this area rather than in entering the next one. Because the autosave is here and not in the, pre in the exit of the previous area. Okay, you, Mr. Smasher, must die. That's just, uh, one of those things. And that is a gunner over there who must die as well. That wasn't that great. That was not that great at all. Okay. We got doggos. That was super bad, actually. Smasher comes in with a sprint. Doesn't do much. That bomber needs to die. Hmm. That was a really bad thing that I did. Uh, okay. Well, I have two smashers right now, which is... Bit a bit of an issue. Let's do a psychotemporal contraction in, in here. And then do a little bit of this. Pretty good, pretty good. And then a step back over here. Do that. Then do this. And then take one of these the you know the blue things right there uh, and now I have my next heat based wait is it my next heat based it is uh, which means this would be a good opportunity to use this uh, let's not let's do this instead I ended up killing that fella over there I shouldn't be I shouldn't do what I'm what I was gonna do okay the dogs. Oh, you jerk. Now I'm gonna get killed! Huh. Well, I likely was gonna get killed anyway. Yeah, that guy's gonna smash me. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Not too shabby. Oh, the alarm went out. So that's an improvement. Okay. Okay, okay. Not not too bad. Not too bad. We're not... It's not the end of the world or anything. It's just uh, kind of uh, inconvenient. That psionic dude over there needs to get one of these. And then I do this. Oh, yeah. And now I potentially am gonna die. Got a last stand up in here. And maybe try to flee. That bomber is gonna kill me. Yep. My shield sort of protected me a little bit. Okay. Okay, can I take Scion not Scion, blue blue things. Can I not? No, cool down, okay. Uh, that's pretty bad. It's, it's, yeah, we're, we're in a pretty bad sh in pretty bad shape right now. Pretty bad shape. I'm just gonna flee over there. I'm sure, it's gonna be fine. And now I lost all my health, which is fine. Especially if they don't come through here, which they very well might. Uh, that one over there is a bit of a problem. Let's take. Do we have big ones? We do not have big ones. We just have that one and that one. So let's use this over here. Uh, there you are. Really? Really? Okay. You idiot. Hopefully they all Pile up over there. Somebody died, I think. I heard somebody fall. 
There's a Berserker. Okay, Berserker, please die. Okay, that wasn't enough damage. I need more damage. Okay, that was enough. Barely enough. Oh, this is very dangerous. Now we got a Grenadier. Let's get this for free in here. See if there's anybody around. There is somebody even with a shield. So that's pretty rubbish. Cooldown for four turns. Okay, so I can try this. And then I can try... Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. And then I'll step back. Hi! It's a demolisher back here. With a name shot. Okay. That's reasonable. That's less reasonable. Please don't do that. You jerk. Okay. This is pretty important because that guy's going to blow up. Oh boy. Yeah. Pretty important. Cooldown. I don't have cooldown here. I can apply this to me. Please. Please do my thing. Okay, I can do my thing. This is a demolisher. How does that work? What is a demolisher? Well, I can trap him in there if I need to, which I probably do. But I don't have that because I don't have enough action points. Which is a big shame. There's the alarm. So I'll just... Oh, there's... God knows who the heck that is. Hmm. Okay, this is not necessarily the worst opportunity to have used the... This thing. And I have some debuffs that I can use on, on Baylor here. That will allow me to, um... To do some things. Namely, I could try to frighten him. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you jerk. You jerk. What a jerk of a game. Oh no. Oh no, I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, the fact that they can be immune is so, so bad. Okay, okay, what am I doing here? So I could try use... I don't have enough Psy for that. Ooh, we're gonna need to go in. The problem is there's gonna be more of them. Hopefully Baylor is just slow. Then again, I can all apply this to him. So that's gonna help a little bit. Let's keep an eye on our health. Our health can be can come back up. This can come back up as well. Uh, it's a good opportunity to do it, I think. Uh, let's try temporal. That's the one. Okay, one of that goes in there. He gets stunned there. Okay, I need to move a little bit, but that's not a problem. It looked like I didn't apply it. Okay. Because I am... walking myself into a... quite a tight spot in here. Okay, I'm gonna try and stun you. That immediately stops him. Cryostasis, how about that? Okay, so he's immune. That actually is very helpful. And I ended my turn there, I think. Um, so this doesn't end his cryostasis. It does mean, however, that I'll have to keep eat eating these things. Okay, which is fine. As of right now, anyway. 
I don't have a shield. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. No, that's bad. Please. Please don't crit. Pl thank you. Holy crap. Holy crap. I don't even know how that worked. But it did. It did, and... Uh, how much health do I have? Five. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see that happening. Let's try to do this to you. And then stepping away. So that was the iron head. Hopefully I killed him. I did not. Hmm. Very dangerous all this. One more turn. One more turn. Okay, so we're going to be able to come back from here. Is he? Oh my god, how is he feeling that well? I need an EMP grenade. I need to throw an EMP grenade in there. I think I might have killed him in the back. Okay, so that's a kill over here. Um, but now I might die. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you jerk. Okay. EMP grenade, I suck at these. But I can I can throw it on myself. Heck yeah, I threw it on myself. Okay. Now you're gonna get stunned. Oh that's what I'm talking about right there. This guy is proper though. This guy is like the business. Or the bee's knees, or whatever. He's like, he's... Phew, we did it. Ah, <sighs> we pulled it off. I can't believe it went so badly all of a sudden. Oh my god. But it's really good to... Oh, and of course there's things in here and whatnot. It's really good to just run with the flow and not have to, you know, optimize. B basically, it's really good to be able to screw up. That's that's the gist of it, really. At the end of the day, screwing up and and pulling it out of the pit. That's the that's the pleasure. A red cybernetic eye over here. Uh, I think that's needed for a quest or something. A drinking horn, probably only used ceremonially or because he's a douche. Since you cannot just I'm I'm just immediately called everybody that <laughs> that I don't I yeah I don't I mean the I don't mean that you're a douche if you have a drinking horn. I mean. That some people have a drinking horn because they're douches. So that's that's different. It's like BMWs, right? You know, not just because you have a BMW, does, I don't have one. But still, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same principle. So, probably only use ceremonially since you cannot just place it on the table and expect it to not spill. That's not how drinking horn, horns work. I think. I don't have one either. Uh, let's see. We have some interesting things in here. Ooh, that helmet is actually kind of good. This might... No, this one, this one. No, well, it has a lot of charge, so that's nice. And also a super heavy hammer over here that um, is not good enough for me. Due to its extreme weight, this sledgehammer is almost completely unwieldy in combat, except for those endowed with demonic strength. Um, it uh, does a bunch of damage, 100 to 200, so it's a good thing I didn't get hit by that. 10% chance to stun the leaving target for one... The leaving target, because it doesn't do that for mechanical, uh, for uh, robots and stuff. Ignores mechanical damage threshold when attacking organic targets. My god, this thing is amazing. And I'm going to leave it on the floor. Because I can't sell it. Like, I mean, I could. I could just give it away, really. Let's see, is it better? No, it is not. Yeah, I just, I can't sell that thing. What happens to to loot hardcore chips? Yeah, I'll take those. I don't know what happens to loot when uh, yeah, I can't like I can't pick it up, but I can barely move after that, and it's not it's too heavy for the price. So I I think I think somebody told me that they made a build around that particular weapon, and uh, I can definitely see them. Destroying everything, especially in the late game. The late game has a lot of bi biological targets. Is that the leaving targets? What, what do they call it? Still, it has a lot of them. So, yeah. The late game 
I can see that being the again the 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 knees of the bees as I was talking about before. Okay, so what do we have in these guys? Nothing much. Every once in a while, there's a nice weapon in there, and those actually do sell light weapons that are not too expensive, but still expensive enough to to uh, justify the the carry weight. They are pretty good because they sell easily, and they're good to balance uh, balance the uh, the prices and all that because they're cheap. But that was a whole a whole troop of them. Uh, yeah. I really thought, I really thought I was done for. Okay, nothing. Some, I mean, I, I'm saying I was gonna say nothing here, nothing that I will note. There's some crafting equipment and whatnot, but uh, but there's, there's there's definitely things in there. And that guy burned to ashes. He has guards key, the key to the guards, and not much else. Again, oh, actually, I. I am over encumbered now. Okay. Some healing items and an iron head commando's corpse. Wait, that guy was there already, wasn't it? No, no, no. The corpse appears after. Good, good. Good stuff, game. You, you, that's good. I like it. In a lot of games, usually corpse means that it was there already. It wasn't you who killed it. But uh, in this game, it doesn't. In this game, it's properly done. I like it. Okay, a lot of weapons and a lot of ammo that I don't need. Okay, let's take care of our carry weight. Where is my belt? Because I'm carrying around the other belt. That's the one. And of course, the lifting belt. So that's it's stuff like that that will allow me to use the, uh, the, the sledgehammer like that. And will allow me to end the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.